Hi, I'm Yusuf. It is the second uh, part for surface area operation. We will machine these formed slots. As you can see in this section. The surfaces are formed, so we will use the formed uh, formed T uh, T cutter, but as you uh, as you think, we will uh, you we will make a drilling uh, for uh, this cutting tool, but we will not do it now. We will uh, we because we didn't tell the drilling operation yet. First, we will make the T cutter. The hole is 40 diameter, so 35 diameter T cutter will be enough. Neck diameter is 10. Lower radius 5, upper radius 5, and the flute length is 10. So we have full radius T cutter uh, suitable for this uh, slots. We click OK. Uh, we cannot machine uh, this negative area according to uh, this view with Z level or contour area. We haven't made an example as you, as you uh, know because uh, these two operations don't uh, use just use one projection vector uh, with tool axis. You can't make any uh, other projection vector with these two operation. So we will use surface area. We click edit, we click specify drag geometry and we choose the surfaces as we did uh, before. We click, click and have a warning. This means that this uh, two uh, surfaces doesn't use the same UV directions. How can it happen? They are uh, neighbors and they have the same uh, periphery length. They should have the same UV directions. Let's look. Money wheel static wireframe, and we can see that these two surface have same UV direction, but this is different. How can it happen? If we import and export uh, these parts. Uh, you you must encounter this issue uh, some surfaces are missed so we fill it with our cat uh, this modeling uh, operations so uh, these new surface uh, may not have the same uv direction with old ones uh, or if you model it in nx you can use different operation for this area. So, in uh, many ways, uh, this, uh, these surfaces may not have the same UV direction. What will we do now? We will create a, a we will go to modeling and create a drive geometry. We click extrude. 40 millimeters and sheet. This is our drive geometry. We will use this drive geometry. It, we select it. It is uh, one surface, so uh, the UV direction isn't important here. We change the material direction inside helical 10 
tolerances and preview. We can see the toolpath. I click OK and I click generate. As you can see, the toolpaths aren't projected on the surface, slow surface. Why? Because the projection vector is on tool axis. So the negative areas can't be seen as in Z double and contour area. But if we use away from line, we choose vector and we choose a point means that uh, this is the vector away from line. What will it do? It will uh, project the tool pads away from this line. So the tool pads will be projected to these slot surfaces. I click generate. The tool pads are created here. The tool makes helical move and it starts from up and goes down but there is a problem it makes a lift move so it gotched to the parts we saw it but we couldn't saw it we may not saw it how we will uh, understand that there is a, a gauge right click toolpath go check we click on post on first gojo collision we click ok and we can see the gauge ok how, how we will fix it non-cutting mouse non-cutting mouse retract final and point first we click the a lower center at nib set or mouse middle button and the upper center ok and generate it makes the retract move like this You can see that we can project the tool pads using a different dry geometry from the parts. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, please ask me in comments.